So it's 17.56 p.m. It is Wednesday evening still. <laughs> and this is an update for Star Wars Endgame 4.3. So I worked on it this morning for 3 hours, 20 minutes. Very good writing session. I have been really enjoying working on Brock's POV and his flashback. It's really good. I am up to 109 pages with 46,000... 395 words. Yeah, no, that's right. Um, yeah, I've done really good with this writing session shit. <laughs> Delving into his mindset and where he's at is absolutely fun and phenomenal for me. Because this is all new territory for me. This is brand new material. It's completely organic and original and I love the shit out of it um so what did I accomplish I'm almost done with him on Tatooine which is nice and then on to Meb so I'm excited to get to Meb already cause shit <laughs> been dragging it out long enough fuck but it's important that I drag it out because I really want sh I really want you to understand where he's coming from and also you know really get a feel for how he's feeling about the whole situation with lucius being in a coma and losing his arm as well so yeah i've done good with these writing sessions so far like every now and then i'll have a small sesh or a very big long one that drains the shit out of me but also was highly productive so yeah i'm excited like i'm really making great headway with this story i can't believe it like wow like it's really baffling like i don't to 109 pages typed and that makes it um Almost as long as Devastation was. But Devastation was 122 pages typed. <laughs> so yeah, I'm coming up on Devastation's page length, but I'm nowhere near done yet. I'm still at the beginning of the story. <laughs> I haven't even gotten into the main storyline yet. I'm still jumping back and forth between the present and the past because i need to i'm doing a machete order which is a phrase for you know watching stuff out of order um machete order is really helping me put the pieces of the puzzle together so i know where the fuck i'm going and it's nice it's really fucking nice oh my god because when I wrote this shit up, I did this, I did a whole bunch of this back in the day. When I'd jot little lines down of different plot points, I, I'd get to them when I wanted to. I was like, oh, I'll remember everything. No, I forgot. So, brand new stuff. Same story. I'm excited. So, I'm looking to see this story become probably at least... Longer than Redemption, definitely going to be at least near six or seven hundred pages worth, because it's a hell of a story. <clears throat> I still haven't figured out the main point, though. I'll figure it out when I get there. So, that's what I got going on. I'm going to get off here, upload this motherfucker, and get me some food so I can think before I do anything else, because I'm kind of, kind of hungry. <sighs> I also feel a little tired. <laughs> That's because I slept late. So, yeah, I'm enjoying building on Brock's personality a lot more. And his intricacies as well. Like, he's got a lot of those that I want to bring to life and really encapsulate properly. Yeah. Oh, and he's black, by the way. I forgot about that. Um, who do I see playing him in my head? Um, Michael, how the fuck do you say his name? 
E A L Y. Ellie, I guess. Ele. I'm not sure. Let me find out. Because <laughs> I mispronounce shit all the motherfucking time. Nah. There we go. Michael Ellie. No. According to Wikipedia, oh. Michael Brown, professionally known as Michael Ely, is an American actor. Oh. Okay, there we go. It's Michael Brown, but he goes by Ellie. Okay. Cool. Yeah. That's who I see playing Brock. Easily. Why? I don't know. He's got that kind face, and he's got that attitude and all that shit and i like the way to me he's an underrated actor and doesn't get enough credit like he should that's just my two cents on that um yeah so i'm gonna get off here go get some food so i can wake up so till next time like and subscribe for thoughts and prayers